my favorite player in the NBA, someone we have supported for break. months now. LaMelo Ball went to work against the Rockets, hit seven threes, and again ended up with a double-double. Jalen, what do you think of LaMelo? Do work, nephew. Everybody knows if you want LaMelo Ball news and updates, this is his parking spot. This is his home court. Big shout to my little brother, JJ. Jermaine Jackson doing a terrific job working with the young fella. You see that improved jump shot, Jacoby? Mm -hmm. You see him make seven threes in the game? Mm -hmm. You see him putting, get, getting triple doubles at his age already? And so, he was coming off the bench most of the season, and he run rookie of the month. This dog, this, he's going to be a superstar, man. Oh, yeah. What did you, you, what know, did you say you before know. the draft? What Every you single the GM that doesn't draft him and has the opportunity is going to regret it. I'm sure they already do. And that jump shot looks so good when seven threes go in, but it doesn't always look great. I watch the games on League Pass. Sometimes he's going to have 10 assists, and sometimes he's going to have some really ugly turnovers. But this man is under 20 years old. The jump shot's going to get better. The turnovers are going to come down. He does make rookie mistakes, but he does so much on the floor for this team. And he also is part of one of my favorite nicknames in the NBA right now. Wish I could take credit for this one. When it goes from ball to bridges, the duo is called Airbnb. I love that one so much. <laughs> Jalen, <laughs> Kevin Garnett had a really Get interesting quote about big... intergenerational Chicken. basketball. Here's what the big ticket had to say about the players of today. I don't think guys from 20 years ago could play in this game. It's creative, it's competitive, it's saucy. You'll get dropped across you over and break your ACL these days. This game is in a great place. Jalen, you played 20 years ago. What do you think about his statements on this cross-generational comparison? The game is in a great place. It has always been in a great place. And I agree with the big ticket. Each time a generation happens, they're going to look at the past generation and either over-exaggerate why it was better Mm -hmm. or why it was worse. So I have an iPhone right now, and I know it does a lot more than my Sky Pager than I had back in the day. But when I, Sky Pager was out, it was that deal. And so KG is right, but also remember when he came out of high school and so many other players did? Elder Statesman felt the same way. These young players don't have what it takes to have staying power in the league. And before you know it, guys like he and Kobe and Tracy McGrady going to be Hall of Famers, and the league worked in reverse. They made it so those guys couldn't come out at the high school anymore because teams had to protect themselves because they found themselves recruiting ninth graders, looking at 10th graders, trying to get them to come out after the draft. And so the big ticket does have a point. Players are more skilled, they shoot with more range, they're bigger, stronger, faster, the access to medicine, hyperbaric chambers, and all of that. But the one thing today's game does not have, that KG embody, that's physical intimidation. Mm -hmm. That does not exist in today's game. Let somebody make a shot on the big ticket and they wanna hit their chest or they wanna push to the ground. He wouldn't have been so enthusiastic about that part. So Jalen, we discussed this previously to the show, and we do think that your game would translate to this new generation because of your height and your ability to do many things with the basketball. However, the champagne and campaigning would not translate. You'd be on at TMZ every morning. That's the only problem with changing you on the court would be fine in today's game. Champagne and campaign would be tough. Interesting field goal attempt from Draymond Green at Hit the, the end of the fourth quarter in a game against the Spurs. Let's just take a look at what Draymond tries to do with over eight seconds left in the game. Boom, shooting it from half court. Your thoughts? Well, Draymond Green is family, so I can't front. If he shot it from full court, there'll be no Draymond Green slander. But Love I will Draymond say Green. this. That's the smartest dumb play that I've ever seen. Quoting Day Day. How about that? That's exactly what he had to say about it. Clearly trying to get a foul where there was no foul to get. <laughs> well, we have a new New York Knickerbocker. That's an old New York Knickerbocker. Hit the Keep brakes. Or hit the brakes. Now, Derrick Rose is reunited with Tibbs and the MSG faithful moving to the Knicks from your Pistons. What do you think about the move? I'm happy for him. 
because so many times you don't get what you want throughout this professional journey. And it seems that Tibbs and Rose, when you look back at the journey, got that. Anytime both of those guys got a chance to be with each other with three separate franchises, while they're both, in particular, Rose still playing at a high level. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.